need to figure out how we're going to go about solving for x. Now, is there more than one way to do this? Yes. I've got to basically get x on one side of the equation all by itself. So there's a variety of ways we could do this. All right, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x plus y, okay? Get rid of the fraction because nobody likes fractions, okay? So I'm going to multiply this side by an x plus a y, and then we'll multiply this side times an x plus a y. All right, in which case then I'm going to have a, and I'm not going to distribute just yet, x plus y over here is equal to this, and this will cross out. I'll have an xy. All right, now, since this is kind of inside here, I am going to go ahead and distribute now. So like an ax plus an ay, and then is equal to xy. All right, now at this point, I've got an x on both sides. I need to get all my x's on one side, and basically all the numbers on the other side of the equation. All right, so here, let's do this. So this needs to go to the left-hand side, and this needs to go to the right-hand side, okay? So if we remember, every time we cross equal signs, we do the opposite. So this AX is going to stay put, all right? Then I'm going to minus XY from the left-hand side there. I'm going to go ahead and minus that from the other side, so I'll have a negative AY on this side. <clears throat> All right, now I've got to solve for x. Right now it's in two individual terms. So let's factor x out. If I factor an x out, I'm going to have an a and then minus a y equals the negative a y over here. Okay, so let's uh, divide both sides by that binomial right there. I'm going to actually show the step. So divide and divide. All right, those two things are going to cross out. All right, I'm going to come up here just because we're running out of room. So I'm going to have an x is equal to a negative a y all over an a minus y. Okay, now uh, we had talked about this earlier, cleaning things up. You have extra negatives. I don't think, I can't really tell from looking at the question. Um, I don't think they're, they're going to let you leave it in this kind of cluttered mess, okay? Um, so do you remember how to get rid of like an extra little negative here when there was a little shortcut trick that I taught you? If I want to change this, all right, then I basically need to pull out a negative, all right, or flip it around and then it gives you a negative that then gets crossed out somewhere else. So I think the easiest way to look at this is going to be factor out a negative on the bottom. Let's do it this way. Factor out a negative one on the bottom. All right, what's that going to do? That's going to make the a negative. That's going to make the y positive. And I know that looks yucky right now. I have a imaginary negative one in the top. So then I can cross them out. That kind of cleans it up. Now, I don't want to write on the bottom negative a plus y. So I'm going to leave my a y on the top and I'm going to reverse those and go y minus a. Okay, now notice how, I mean, not that, this is not a right answer, all right, because it is, all right, but this is a much more cleaner answer, nicer, and I'm, according to what I'm looking at, like, there's nothing in the directions that tells you to do anything like this, but I'm looking at the answer, and they went all the way down to here.